Hey guys, it's Phase 2 back with another review, and today we're going to be checking out the Star Wars The Black Series Bass of the Shan from the Gaming Greats line. But right before we check that out, I'm going to go over some quick channel updates. So if you haven't noticed already, I do have a brand new logo that's just higher resolution and just looks a lot more crisp than my older one. And as well as that, I also have a new channel intro, which you have probably seen right before... I started talking just to open up the video and coming up soon I will have phase 2 action review merch and that will just be my logo other stuff like that collecting memes um, other kind of collecting um, shirts collecting related shirts so if you'd be interested in that let me know in the comments below and I'll be having that come out soon hopefully but yeah let's get right into this figure so as you can see on the front of the box you can see a picture of Bastila Shan as this is the plastic repackaging with the old um, Old Republic character that it says right there, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with the Gaming Greats blue. On the side of the box, you can see the artwork of Bastila Shan. On the back, you can see the same picture that's up on the front right here and a quick bio. So if you'd like to read that, pause it right here. Right down here, we have some other legal stuff. Same with on the bottom. On the side, you can see a picture of Bastila Shan and her accessories plastic free packaging and then it has the gaming greats logo right here i don't know if you can see that there we go it's a gaming greats logo and not much going on on the top so let's check out this figure Alrighty, guys and here she is out of the packaging and before we even get into this figure i can already tell that she is going to be in a great addition to my collection she looks great and all the details on the actual figure and the sculpted detail and the paint is all great but right before we get into that let's check out her accessory here because she only comes with one but it's definitely a worthy one and that's her double bladed yellow lightsaber and the blades themselves look really great it kind of reminds me of the Cal Kestis type style which I know this did come first but I'm just more I know Cal Kestis more than I do Knights of the Old Republic because I haven't actually gotten around to be uh, playing Knights of the Old Republic but I did read a lot on the novels and Revan and stuff like that so I definitely know a lot about this character and these lightsabers look really nice they do pour out right here there we go that was a little scary but they do port out on both sides so if you'd like you would just end up with these two pieces right here and she would have just her lightsaber which that looks cool alone as if she's not in a battle stance she's just holding on to it or getting ready for battle there is not uh, a place for her to actually hold on to it or hook onto it, which is okay, but it's still a really cool accessory. And as you can see down there, there is that little port and the peg. So just be careful, but you should be able to put it back in with ease like I just did. And there we go. That is all about her lightsaber. So let's check out the actual figure itself putting the lightsaber to the side here and there we go the sculpted detail on this is really nice these pieces right here are pretty cool and this whole um, maroon color uh, like chest piece I don't really know is all one piece so the shoulders going down to the little skirt piece here it's all connected together which is pretty cool these do get out of the way for articulation, which we'll get into later. But I really like the look that these have here. Not sure the purpose, but they definitely look cool as a nice little fashion design. And then you can see the hair. This is also pretty unique. You don't see like a triple tail, ponytail there, which is pretty cool. And yeah, all these colors look really nice together. You can see the nice little painted buckle and all these lines going down her clothing here. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see the yellow mustardy color undersuit. And yeah, so let's check out the articulation for Bastila here. So her head does go up that far and it goes, goes down that far. It tilts and it can swivel around. Her, she can't, she can't crunch forward much, but she can crunch a lot back and swivel around. Her arms go about to 90. Yeah, about to 90. Uh, there is a slight butterfly joint in there, I th think, unless that's just a spacer. 
No, I think that's a butterfly joint. Yeah, that's a butterfly joint. And bends to a little past 90, can swivel, and there is a up and down hinge, which is great for lightsabers. And can spin all the way around and then up and down. Legs can kick up that far and back that far. There is a thigh swivel, so they can swivel at the thigh. Pinned legs, which can go pretty much all the way back, which is nice. And then there is also a boot cut, so the boot can swivel around there. Watch out for this uh, boot piece right here, the shoe, because this piece right here is a very soft plastic and can get stuck under the joint right here. I did have that problem when it came out of the packaging, so it was a little warped. So all I had to do was take a hair dryer or something like that, heat it up, pop it off, get it back to shape, and it stays like that. Even the little stretching lines that were there from the plastic being warped went away, which is nice. And yeah, so the feet go up that far, go back that far, and pivot. So that's pretty much it for the articulation, and let's check out some comparison. Alright guys, and now we have Bastila Shan here. And some figures that would look great with her, obviously, would be Darth Revan. If I can get him to stand. Hold on. Alright, and here we have some more Knights of the Old Republic figures here. As you can see, I have both the Revans and going to lift up my camera a little bit. There we have Zalbar. He's definitely a pretty big Wookiee, so... Getting him into frame, definitely have to lift up the camera a little bit. Here we go, that's better. And here we go, here we have all of the Knights of the Old Republic figures that I have. I am still missing Malik and Malgus. Those two will be really cool to get. Hopefully I can find both of them. I know Malik is a little bit difficult to get right now. So hopefully I can find him in the future as well as Malgus. Those both look really cool. Malik would be great to go with Revan, and Revan goes great with Bastila, so that would be a cool display. And yeah, so here we go. And let's get right into posing. Alright, and here we have the first pose. And I think this is a pretty cool pose, and it could be a quick ready to fight pose. She's actually surprisingly easy to get into action poses. I was thinking with her heels and the skinnier legs it would be harder to hold up but she stands quite fine and if you want her to be in an action pose with Revan or something like that that works pretty cool too so you can have those in a little uh, figure scene if you'd like have those in some cool figure photography which speaking of figure photography if you'd like to see some of mine you can check that out on my Instagram that will be linked in the description below and yeah so here is the first pose and let's get right into the second one alrighty guys and here is pose number two and wow this figure can really pose and keep a pose too because it will not fall down in all the poses I've put something like actiony like that one too I thought the feet weren't going to be able to like handle that but no it can stand perfectly fine in a pose like this and I think this might be a pose I keep her in because I really like the way you can see these flaps hanging down the side my only concern about that is with it being a rubbery plastic it might warp but I can just fix that with some heat but yeah there is another pose if you were to have her in another action pose and again like you've seen earlier that looks great with Revan so yeah i think that's pretty much it for the video if you like the video please hit the like button consider hitting the subscribe button like i said i will be having merch coming out soon so stay tuned for that and on may the 4th i will be having an entire star wars collection video come out and that will include my star wars the black series my black series helmets maybe some of my legos and my hot toys so stay tuned for that and yeah so Click the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.